more and more people are able to customize the colors in the work that they do, whether it be something with Google or with ArcGIS Story Map, is customizing colors. And sometimes you have the option of selecting a color, and sometimes you have the option of entering a hex code to identify the exact color that you wish to use. I'm going to look on this side panel because I have red text. And if I click on it, I have this option right here, which is a um, artist palette. And although these are the recommended, I now have a color block and um, a color line and this place to enter a hex code. And so this is where you can customize your text. To do that, I'm going to click out of this. Okay. So text. Okay, so I can double click on the text that I wish to have a different color and then go to that artist. I can choose one of the recommended. And then you can see that that kind of changed that color block to more of a blue base. And when I click on the red, it changes it to a red. But I don't, I'm not stuck with those. I do have the option of moving on this kind of color line. So as I move and stop, the hex code changes. So this is one way to customize. You don't know exactly what the hex code is until you stop, but you're like, you know, I want something maybe in a blue green um, and you play around with it or you can click around. And then you can see the result. But if you know a specific color that you want to use because it matches a certain template, then you would be interested in getting a certain extension called a color pick eyedropper. And what this extension does is it lets you hover over text and images and it will identify the hex code that you need to put into the hex code box. So let's say I really, 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 really love this purple right here. I could go up to my extension, click on it, and then I get the crosshairs and bring it down to the color that I want to capture. And then you can see that a hex code is shown, the 5D3657, and the RGB code, 93 red, 54 for green, and 87 for blue. So some programs accept a hex code and some programs accept an RGB. This extension gives you both. I'm going to click because this is the one I want. It automatically highlights the hex code. And so I'm going to copy with control C. And then I'm going to click out of the pop-up. So I'm no longer using the extension. I will then go down. I can click on my new text, click on the artist palette and paste the hex code in that box. And then you can see that the text um, changes automatically. So that is how you can customize colors within story maps and in other applications as well. Thanks for watching.